I'm excited. I don't know if you can tell, but hell has finally released its fiery grip on Texas, and we are back out shooting in cool weather. And today we brought out the Kalashnikov KR-103. Let's check it out. Hey, before we get started, do us a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let YouTube know that you love our content and help us defeat the algorithmic overlords. In exchange, we'll provide you with this cringy gun meme. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the KR-103 from Kalashnikov USA. This is an AK pattern rifle. It's 762 by 39 and it actually has a chrome-lined barrel. Another interesting aspect of Kalashnikov USA is they were originally importers of AK-type rifles until they were outlawed. Their pivot was to go ahead and start making them themselves, which is pretty cool. They used that American know-how and took their familiarity with the product and in some people's minds improved what was coming over from Russia and made an entirely U.S. based product there uh, out of Pompano Beach, Florida. Pretty cool story. All right, let's talk about some ergonomics here. So starting at the butt plate, that's metal. <laughs> it's got some texture to it and um, you can lock it in pretty well but it's it's not rubber no shock absorption whatsoever and it doesn't grab necessarily as well as uh, a nice piece of rubber but it's very functional and uh, you are able like i said to lock it in as far as the uh, actual comb here it's it's good for the irons but it's not that great for an optic. Now I was able to use the Midwest Industries accessory rail and mount that up on top, but it's a little bit high, so I wasn't able to get as good a cheek weld as I would prefer. Everything else moving forward, uh, the grip, kind of small like compared to a lot of modern sporting rifles. This one is uh, kind of thin and narrow but it you know it serves its purpose got a little bump on the bottom there to help your hand recognize where it's at one's placement trigger moving forward good trigger guard and the safety is again classic ak not my favorite but it's you know that's that's what you come to expect for these types of weapons and then of course a charging handle here again same thing also with the magazines this is very typical of the AK platform where you hook it in and then lock it in. Forend is actually pretty nice. There's not a lot of options here for mounting anything, uh, which is also again, typical of the AK platform, but there's a lot of options out there from Midwest Industries and other companies that are uh, making different forends. On the buttstock, you've got a sling mount here. And then moving forward on the forend, there's a uh, sling mount right there too. Again, it, it's very typical of the improved version of the AK or the AKM. All right, so for accuracy, we're pushed out to the 100 yard mark here. I'm using a GLX 1-6 to from Primary Arms. It's been a great optic so far, and I've been impressed with the accuracy of this rifle. When we were zeroing at 50 yards, we were on our way pushing back out to 100. It was like a half inch at 50 yards. The big factor is going to be the issue that we're using tall ammo. It's a 122 grain steel case, full metal jacket. To me, that's kind of a standard. The rifle has been cycling the ammo just fine. Fine. and the grouping so far has been decent, but now that we're at 100 yards, it's time to see how it actually performs. So let's see. All right, let's head down range, check those out. Hey everyone, appreciate you watching the video, but head over to pewpewtactical.com where you'll find the article that I wrote for this very subject. It's near and dear to me, and I appreciate you reading it. Okay, so different story with the steel case at 100 yards. Now granted, some of this can be attributed to me, but we're looking at this one, this one, and this one for this group, roughly four to five inches, and about the same here, pretty good spread. And then the bottom group is this one, this one, and that one. Uh, so like I said, spread out, it is 122 grain steel case, tall ammo. 
and uh, and I'll take credit for at least some of that spread, but uh, not too bad when you consider the uh, amount of magnification that I'm using and the fact that we're running steel case ammo. All right, let's talk about the trigger. Pretty good for an AK. Get a little bit of take up. There's a defined wall right there. And then we'll go ahead and pull through and break the shot. Reset. Nice and crisp uh, all the way back. Full travel. So let's do that one more time. To the wall. Shot and reset. Right there. Good trigger. All right. Let's get a final thoughts on the Kalashnikov USA KR-103. Man, this is a cool rifle. I've shot a few AKs, but this is the first Kalashnikov USA that I've had any experience with. And you can just tell that it's a quality build. I typically think of AKs as lesser quality in general, but this one really feels like a much more evolved version of the AK platform, which you can expect. Yeah, baby. Ergonomics are still basically AK-47, but little things like the muzzle device on the end really has a nice tame impulse. That makes for quick follow-up shots. So I dig that. Quality-wise, this gun was not lubed. Uh, we put several hundred rounds through it and it has functioned with absolutely everything that we've run through it now. The ammo has stayed the same. It's still a tall ammo steel case, which is impressive in, its, in itself, but the magazines, they were a little bit different. Now it comes with one of these steel stamped magazines, but we ran it with US Palm, some Magpul, and another steel, one of these. The US Palm were a little bit thicker, uh, so it made it a little more difficult to get that lock up, but uh, everything ran and fed great. I mean, we had absolutely zero malfunctions. As far as accuracy, I'd wanna come back at that. Uh, I think, you know, just shooting with irons, I was able to do pretty well, uh, even out to distance, but uh, for whatever reason, you know, four to five inch spread at 100 yards with steel case, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see if we had some better ammo, how that might perform. But all in all, uh, really good. On the negative side, the handguard did heat up and uh, it wasn't too hot to handle, but there were a few times when we were doing some reloads and uh, just shooting quite a bit frequently, it did heat up and uh, it's something to just keep an eye out for. Also the price. The price is right around $1,500 and uh, that's pretty expensive for an AK. But again, I like to think that this is probably one of the better quality AKs that you can get out there. Overall, really good gun and uh, I like it a lot. So that's gonna do it for us. We appreciate you watching. I wanna remind you one more time, please hit that like and subscribe. Let YouTube know that you're hooked on our content. Thanks.